Harris is a very talented actress who first captured all of our hearts as the breathtakingly beautiful movie star Ginger Grant on Gilligan's Island. Please welcome Tina Louise. <laughs> Come closer. Okay. How are you? Oh, I'm great. I'm so happy to be here to I, see you. It's like I know you. <laughs> Me too. I look at you every morning. You do? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, I'm going to be so nervous now knowing that Tina Louise is watching the show. I try not to think about things like uh, that. You bring so much joy to me and to everybody. <laughs> oh, well, that's so sweet to say. Now, I, I did probably what so many people do. I saw you in a Broadway show. We were seeing Bring in the Noise, Bring in the Funk. You were there. Wasn't that great? It was wonderful, oh, wasn't it? it? Yeah. And I was staring at you the whole time, and I wanted to go over, <laughs> but I didn't want to be rude, so I didn't... But rude? People, well, I didn't want you to be, like, be intruding rude. on you, you know, but people recognize you everywhere you go, don't they? Yeah, they, 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 they ask me, um... Are you from Gilligan's Island? And I say, no, I'm from Manhattan. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> and people, people all ages, because it's on so often now. Yeah, you know, I'm a, I'm a volunteer teacher in the New York public school system. Oh, that's wonderful. And um, the first day I walked into the second grade, it just really touched me. I mean, I had no makeup on and, you know, just a pair of jeans on and, like, all the children, you know, and I said, oh, my God, this is so great. You know, They all knew it was you. Yeah, they all knew it was me. And they were eight years old. Yeah, that working out really helps. <laughs> Boy, don't I know it. <laughs> I don't work out. You oh, work... you, you got to come with me. Do you work out mm -hmm. every about, day? A, well, about four or five times a week. That's how you keep fit? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you look great. Oh, thank you. And as Ginger, you know, you were always the one who everybody, like, wanted to be like, you know? Mary, <laughs> you know what always annoyed me on Gilligan's Island? You know the song, sometimes they said, the professor and Mary uh -huh. sometimes they said, and the rest. <laughs> did you ever notice that? Yeah. Why did they do that? Um, I think they were sort of added on. Oh, they you know? were? Yeah, they were added on. At the yeah. end, you, what's your favorite episode? Look at you and Gilligan. Um, well, I liked when I sang I Want to Be Loved by You very much, and I liked Eva Grubb. That was fun because I played two characters. Was right. This woman washed on shore. Yeah. You. And she, um, <laughs> she wasn't very gorgeous, so you gave her makeup and she looked like... I made her over. Uh -huh. You. And then she kind of liked the idea and she began to believe it, and she decided that she was going to you know, go back to Hollywood and really be me. And she hit on Gilligan, didn't she? Yeah. yeah. You know what, Tina? What? We got a tape of it. Oh, no. Roll it. Here we go. Do you know what I want? You want a grape? No. <clears throat> I want you to like me. I like you. I want you to like me a lot. I like you a lot. Gilligan, what I mean to say is uh, I'm a girl. You're a boy. I knew that the first time we met. Gilligan. I think we could make beautiful music together. So do I. You wait here, and I'll get my harmonica. No, I mean us. No. Now, did, did you have any idea, when you were filming it, that it would become the, I mean... When you, they told you you were going to play this part, it seemed a little preposterous. Did you ever think it would be this huge success? No, I thought six months, over and out. You know, I had just become a member of the actor's studio, and this was like my first job, you know, back to work. And I was just, it's amazing, you know. And then forever, never, never. <laughs> right, ad infinitum. They're going to make a movie, did you hear? Um, I keep hearing that, yeah. If Ted Turner and Sherwood Schwartz get it together, I guess. Yeah, because that would one, be great. one owns the foreign rights and... The other one owns the American ride. Would you like to do it? To do the movie? Sure, absolutely. Yeah. Hey, what do you think I'm exercising for? That's right. There you go. You can still be ginger. I live to be ginger. <laughs> now, I know that you're writing a book. You told me. I want to tell everyone about that. You're writing a book. Mm-hmm. Actually, it's completed. It's called Sunday, and it's about three years that I spent at a girls' boarding school when I was, if you could believe, six, seven, and eight. Wow. And I sort of have a platform now that I started working with the children and sort of living in New York and... Um, seeing that uh, there's so many teenage uh, girls having children at an early age. Yes. And I, I'm, I'm hoping that possibly this might help to alleviate that problem. Oh, that's great. <laughs> when does the book come out? Actually, on uh, my, my daughter Caprice's birthday, November 1st, 1997. November 1st. Will you come back and mm -hmm. you talk about the book? Okay. And send me a copy when you get in advance. I will. And I just want to say that I love you, Ginger. I love you, Rosie. You're the best. <laughs> <laughs>